Hello, welcome to online tutorial of WorkFusion RPA Express created by Tilak Patil. Today we are going to learn use of WorkFusion Web to open a website. Use of web elements to get and set fields using XPath. WorkFusion has provided RPA portable browsers with its installation package. We are going to use them in order to demonstrate today's demo. To open RPA Portable Browsers, go to WorkFusion Setup Path on your system. Open Application. As you can see there are two browsers provided. We are going to use Chrome. So, open the Chrome Portable Browser. Use of RPA Portable Browsers helps us to easily get the XPath of the website elements during the configuration phase. In this demo, we are going to demonstrate how to open a website, how to set field of website, and getting data from website. Let's open a e-commerce website. Search a product and get its price. For that, create a variable product name to hold name of product to be search. Give value to it. Create a variable price to hold the obtained price from website. Now, double-click on Open Website, from Action Library. Insight URL text box, give the website address which is to be open. Now, select the browser you want to use. In Wait Up To text box, give 90,000 milliseconds wait. This is the time, in milliseconds for which the RPA waits for page to load. You can vary it as required. Now, open the website from Portable Chrome Browser. We need to set the product name in search text box. For that, double-click on Web Element. Select, Set Value. Now, get the XPath of the search box to set product name. To get the XPath, right-click on Search Box, select Inspect. Now right-click on Highlighted Code, select Copy, select Copy XPath. Paste this XPath in the XPath of Alamet text box. Set use value from variable drop down to product name. The above action will set value of product name into the search box of website. Now click on mouse click. Select click on web element using XPath. Again, obtain the XPath of the search button using same procedure. Paste the obtained XPath into XPath of Target Element text box. Now, search the product name from Portable Browser. Again, get the XPath O of price displayed in front of product. Now, double-click on Web Element. Select Get Value. Paste the XPath in the XPath of Element text box. Set Save Value to Variable to Variable Price. This action will copy the price from website to price variable. Now, write a script to paste the content of product name and price in text file, as discussed in Lesson 4. Now, let's save and run the script. As you can see, the script have obtained the price of product and pasted the details in text file. This is it for the day. Comment down suggestions if any. Goodbye and have a nice day.